Hello Booktube! For this Tag Tuesday, I'm going to be doing some TBR building uh, via the name game book tag. Um, I don't know exactly who created this tag, um, but I saw it most recently on Michael Capon's channel. And as I thought about doing this tag, um, I hit on the idea to basically select books that I haven't read yet. And I further thought, well, this is nonfiction November, and I am having trouble with fiction, so why not just uh, select six um, books um, from my history shelves? Uh, this shelf here, and this shelf here. Although this one's got another one under it. Um, and go from there. And so I did. I selected six books. Um, I'm going to be using my last name as Michael K. Vaughn did. Um, in part because if I did my first name, I it wouldn't quite work because I there's only one book that starts with J. And I've read it before, although it's been quite some time. And if I use my whole name, we'd just be here all day. So I'm going to go with uh, my last name, which is six books, and I'm quite excited about these six. So let's get started. For H, I selected The Habsburgs, To Rule the World by Martin Ratty. Um, this is a history of the Habsburg family. Um, they ruled in Austria and slowly added more and more territory until um, they were um, Holy Roman Emperors, as well as um, after the Napoleonic Wars, the Emperors of Austria and Austria-Hungary. And also for a while, um, Kings of Spain and other Western European states and statelets. Um, I have a sweet tooth for monarchy and um, dynasties, and so I'm quite excited to, to get to this book, um, and hopefully I will get to it quite soon. Um, for O, I have selected The Opium War by Julia Lovell. Now, this is a history of the Opium Wars um, between uh, China and Britain in the mid 19th century, and I I have a sweet tooth for Chinese history, and I loved uh, Julia Lovell's more recent uh, Maoism: A Global History, and so I'm really excited to get to the Opium War. For L, I selected. Uh, Lakota America, A New History of Indigenous Power by Pika Hamalainen. Hoping I got that right. Um, this is a history of um, this, um, the Lakota people, um, and I'm quite looking forward to it. Um, I've been meaning to get to this book for a while. Um, I don't have as much, um, I don't have many books on Native American history as I would like. Um, and hopefully I can add some more in the coming year. So. Uh, for D, I've selected um, Dynasty, The Rise and Fall of the House of Caesar by Tom Holland. This is a history of the first dynasty of the Roman Empire. Um, and I've been meaning to get to this book for a while. Um, I've really been meaning to get to Roman history for a while. Um, the last time I read some was, I think, sometime early-ish last year with SPQR, which I quite enjoyed. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting to Dynasty and seeing if I like Tom Holland's work, because there are uh, two other books by him, a Dominion, and I'm blanking on the earlier one that's the history of the uh, Persian Wars that I'm quite looking forward to as well. For E, I've selected Empire's Crossroads, A New History of the Caribbean by Carrie Gibson. This is um, a history of the Caribbean, 
and I've been really fascinated by the Caribbean and wanting to read um, a good history of the Caribbean. I do have another one that I didn't like that I read about last year or the year before, um, but I'm hoping this one will be much better. Uh, and I'm quite looking forward to getting to it. And finally, for R, I've selected um, Ravenna, Capital of Empire, Crucible of Europe. And um, this is a history of the city of Ravenna and its role in European history uh, by uh, Judith Heron, um, who's written a number of other books on um, medieval Italy and the Byzantine Empire. And I'm quite looking forward to getting to this at last. So that was the name game book tag. Um, if you would like to do this tag, uh, consider yourself tag, whether you want to uh, use this tag as a TBR builder or to recommend books. Um, yeah, it was quite a bit of fun. Um, so just an update for my video making plans. Um, I might be able to make a, a video tomorrow. Uh, my brother and sister-in-law are making or buying a house and they almost finished um, they ha still have the clothes to do and then obviously move in and of course the clothes is starting to turn into a kafka-esque story of annoyance um they were supposed to do the clothes today um, but that's gotten pushed back um so i might be able to make a video tomorrow uh, because we'll have the kid uh, the four children of the apocalypse over uh later on in the day but Thursday, there won't be any videos because, again, I do have a doctor's appointment uh, roughly around this time. And so I don't know if I'll have a ride up there or if I'll have to walk. In either which way, I won't be making videos on um, Thursday. And, of course, Friday will be weekly reads. And there really shouldn't be much hampering that unless um, the move makes takes a little bit longer than I think it will but I should be able to get a weekly reads up on Friday at my usual time but if necessary I might do like an early uh, one I might like film one earlier in the day and just save what I read on Friday to uh, next week so we shall see. Um, anyway, BookTube, that's it for now. Um, have a great afternoon. Uh, stay safe. And I think I'm going to do a Steve Pyramid. After I reorganize these to spell out my name. Anyways, well, too, but thank you and stay safe.